special was the fact that uh, you know a guy who came from East London, you know, a white Jewish kid who came out and played the blues. His music was very spiritual. It wasn't just someone standing up there playing the guitar. It just seemed like it was coming from somewhere else. And of course, you know, there aren't that many white blues players who have managed to convince people that uh, that they were the so-called real thing. But if anyone ever asked me uh, about white blues guitarists, I always point them towards Peter Green and say, well, there you go. And he's had all the accolades that anybody could have from B.B. King, from everybody. B.B. King said that Peter's tone was the sweetest tone you know, he'd ever had, and it made him sweat, and he, he said all these amazing things about him. So I think he knows what he's talking about. The guitar that I use is Peter's actual guitar. And I've had that since virtually the time when he left Fleetwood Mac. Uh, he let me have that in the early 70s. He let me have it for a few days and then he called me up and asked me if I wanted to buy it. And I said, well, there's no way I'd be able to afford a guitar like this. And he said, well, uh, if you sell your main guitar, give me the, whatever you get for that, give it to me. And it would be like kind of swapping guitars because it wasn't like a money thing. He just wanted it to have a good home. Anyway, <laughs> I sold my guitar and gave him the, some paltry amount, which wasn't anywhere near what the guitar was worth, but he, he let me have it. And I said, well, if you ever want it back, you can have it. And he said, well, I'll never ask you for it back. But I've, I've had it ever since then, and that's the one that's on the album. That's the one I'm playing today.